What's up? It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Back with the Boston Clinic. Trying to get back active on these videos. Uh, work been killing me, but to the topic of discussion, to kick off today. Um, you know, Golovkin is one of the most avoided fighters out there. That is what perception is through the media. But the truth is that, you know, I hear it time and time again from countless boxers is that his promoter K2 and the head of K2, Tom Loeffler, is that Golovkin is lowballing these top fighters. He's not paying big money for them to even think about taking the risk of fighting them. You know, then, you know, the rebuttal from the fans will be the Gennady Golovkin fans or just boxing fans in general is it shouldn't be about the money. It should be about fighting the best. And I definitely agree with that. But over and over again, from Peter Quillen, from, you know, Daniel Jacobs, from Billy Joe Saunders, um, uh, from Miguel Cotto, you know, you hear from different, different other fighters is that, you know, Gennady Golovkin isn't offering enough money for these guys to even fight him, even to consider fight him, is that they are better off fighting the Sergio Morris of the world like Danny Jacobs is going to fight than fighting Golovkin because it's the same amount of money. You know, why fight a guy in Golovkin that probably can end your career when you can fight a Sergio Mora and be a headliner and make the exact same money or similar money? And, you know, countless fighters have been saying it. Even some of the, the lower type fighters like Billy Joe Saunders has been saying it. And it looks like uh, Chris Ebanks Jr. is going to take the challenge. And, you know, people say, well, Chris Ebanks Jr. sounds like he's going to be compensated well because he's a household name in the U.K. You know, you know, he's having a dispute with Scott Boxing, but they're going to pour out the money for him to fight Golovkin because it's going to do huge numbers over there. Those fans show up for any and any type of fight. You see they feel the stands for Ricky Burns. He's lost countless of times and disappointed them tallest of times. They fill out for Kale Brook when he fights any bump. So Chris Ebex Jr. is going to pull in the money. He's going to get the large share of the pay-per-view revenue over there. These other fighters are not. And Golovkin, um, you know, he has numerous sponsors. And he can pay these guys better money. If you want to fight a top pound-for-pound -pound guy, pay these guys like a pound-for-pound -pound guy. Or they're going to go a different route and make the exact same money. So hopefully Golovkin and them can get more money and pay these guys so we can see these top fights. But we